So I keep going back to the word steadiness because I've watched you. And, and, and if anybody doesn't know you, they know that, yeah, you you got a pretty vigorous surgery schedule and a pretty vigorous, uh, I guess, practice of people yes. coming in every day. But if your kid's playing in a game at 5.30. I'll be there. Yeah. Your schedule's going to stop at 4.30 or 5.00 so you can get to the game. That's right. Because you could work till 7 or 8, 9 at night if you wanted to. Well, and if I'd have to work through lunch or, yeah. you know, I work five days a week, I try not to take a day off mm -hmm. because so that I can get off earlier in the afternoon. Right. But I just feel like when you're talking about your children, you know, if you're making a commitment to bring church, children into this world uh, with you and your wife, you have to be parents that are committed to take care of them. And I could not ask, the, my wife Amy is just such a wonderful mother. And believe me, the pecking order in the house is Amy, all of our children, and then like Dr. Pat's down there. <laughs> You know, uh, even the Labrador Retrievers and the cats are ahead of me, but that's okay. You know, it, it's, it's, I'm fine with that because my children just adore my wife. Yeah. And she's always there for them, always working hard. She's a nurse at Baptist Hospital in New Orleans, and she works there and commutes. Um, but you adore your wife, too. I do. I yeah. do. I've never met a lady that's just such a hard worker, so well-rounded. You know, if the lawnmower needs fixing, she'll do that. Mm -hmm. And she just sets such a good example of a great work ethic, and that's how she shows her love for her children and her husband. And she's kind of like my mother and my sister, where she, she and her sister and my mother-in-law, they will help anyone at any time mm -hmm. that's in need. Mm 